as all of you are aware, just yesterday we lost a famous TV star, Mr. Siddharth Shukla, who succumbed to heart attack at a very young age of 40 years. Now, in this video, previously too, I have discussed about this alarming rise in the incidences of heart attack and stroke in the end. But this video is going to be slightly different because usually when we talk about heart attack or stroke in the end, we usually talk about the sedentary lifestyle, obesity, unhealthy eating habits, etc. But here we had this guy who is as fit as you want. And of course, we'll be practicing a healthy dietary habits, hitting the gym regularly, but still succumb to heart attack at an age of 40 years. An important aspect that we need to understand is being fit does not necessarily mean being healthy. Now, even though these two things are often used interchangeably, there is a subtle difference being fit and being healthy. While being fit is definitely a part of being healthy, but it is not the same. Let's discuss about this today. Let me make it very clear that I am not trying to figure out the exact cause why he had an heart attack because I have no right, I have no business to prod into his cause of death. But what I am saying is there are a few things in this fitness world which people need to be aware of. And again, of course, I am not saying that he may have followed this path, but it is important that people are aware of such ugly things. A human body is designed with certain physiology. Now, as long as you are stretching your body within the physiology, it is all fine. But the moment you try to stretch it beyond the usual human physiology, just to get that aesthetic benefit of being fit, that is when being fit ceases to be a boon and starts becoming vain in your life. I will never discourage anybody from hitting the gym or being fit, being healthy because I am myself a fitness enthusiast and uh, will continue to be one. But I am talking here about the consumption of anabolic steroids or in simple words synthetic testosterone hormones. Now me being a doctor, I have seen few of the ill effects, some are very serious actually which resulted out of consumption of these anabolic steroids. So consumption of anabolic steroids, a big no. Let's try to understand what exactly it is. Now the human body is designed in such a way that the male hormone testosterone is very much essential for the growth or the hypertrophy of the muscles and of course also for fat loss. Now the body is designed in such a way that as we age, the amount of testosterone in our body keeps decreasing. And that is exactly the reason why it becomes increasingly difficult to remain fit as we age. Compared to a guy who is in his early 20s, it is very difficult for a person who is nearing 40 to remain fit. But here we have a 40 year old person showing off his completely ripped body. Well, of course, it may be purely a physiological thing. It may be possible without the consumption, but it is possible that consumption of these anabolic steroids may have taken place. And these anabolic steroids can horribly damage our body, can seriously dysregulate our hormonal system, our vascular system, and cause these serious effects like heart attack, stroke, etc. Forget 40, in Bollywood we have actors who are nearing 55 and still show off their ripped body with 6 packs or 8 packs etc. I mean, it is okay for them to do that, there is no harm and obviously they have worked hard for it. There is no taking the credit away from them and I really admire them for what they have done. But I feel sometimes somebody should take up the moral responsibility to come forward and talk about these things openly. What laymen like me and you need to understand is for them being this way, being ripped, is their bread and butter. They earn in gross because of being like this. So of course they can afford to spend a few lakhs or sometimes even crores to get the best of professional help, best of experts, best of trainers, who will closely monitor their body day in and day out. They monitor the response of their body 
do these injections as well which is of course people like me and you cannot do and more importantly we don't need to do that because ultimately we need to be healthy and not necessarily ripped this is where the main difference between being fit and being healthy comes now just to give you an example we had a movie in 2019 by the name war where we had a 45 year old rithik roshan showing off his absolutely stunning ripped body i mean we all loved it i agree and he has also posted a video of how he transformed his super 30 body to war body which was the video was i agree it was very inspirational but maybe he could have added another sentence and come forward and told about the truth about behind the scenes as well because ultimately out of the movie he supposedly earned more than 100 crores so of course it was possible for him to spend maybe a few crores to get to get best of professional advice and have his body closely monitored when he went through all these things during my residency at Ames Delhi, I have myself encountered two such stroke patients who were of course uh, young who were competing for a professional bodybuilding competition and ended up being on the hospital bed and eventually didn't make it. They, they died because of the stroke. So is it really worth it at the end of the day? Definitely no. And then I remember another incident where I was in the OPD and uh, there was a guy who used to prepare for one of the bodybuilding competition and then somebody advised him that the growth hormone injection would help in increasing the uh, muscular hypertrophy because growth hormone is known to cause muscular hypertrophy. So obviously without any sort of monitoring, just he just uh, followed somebody's advice and then he ended up injecting all these growth hormones. So the result was that there was excessive soft tissue overgrowth leading to compression of one of the nerve we call it as entrapment neuropathy as a result of which he was just unable to move his shoulder all the hard work that he has been putting went in vain because he just couldn't exercise anymore so he obviously couldn't even think of competing and forget about bodybuilding he even lost his normal shoulder function and I don't think from that stage he would be able to regain his shoulder power. So think of it, is it really worth it? That is where people have crossed the line of being healthy and have gone behind pure fitness and have burnt their fingers. There's also this very famous trend of depleting the body of water and salt for about two to three days prior to the bodybuilding competition or photo shoot or just before shooting some scenes where they have to flaunt their absolute ripped look. Same thing applies here. Is it really worth it? Of course, celebs can do it because they have the experts who are closely monitoring their, monitoring their body, their electrolyte levels, etc. And people actually go one or two steps further where they add a medicine called as furosemide, furosemide which, in, which is commonly called as lasix. What this does is it actually depletes the body of all water and salt and just takes it one step further. Of course, this can cause electrolyte imbalance. And some people even take it to another extreme. They consume what is called as potassium chloride syrup just to keep a potassium balance normal. And this seriously hampers the cardiovascular system. This serious Electrolyte imbalance can cause a lot of problems including sudden cardiac arrest. So if you remember, few years back we had a very famous Bollywood heroine who had a sudden cardiac arrest at a function at a relatively younger age, not so old. Probably she wanted to have that uh, picture perfect look during the function but ultimately ended up losing her life. The other important thing is that Health is basically overall wellness and fitness is only a part of it because eventually health will also include the functioning of your internal body organs, adequate rest, having a stress-free life because mental health, mental health is a very important part of overall health. So even if you are absolutely fed, but if you are constantly stressed, this 
elevated cortisol is definitely going to cause a lot of problems including heart attack in spite of you being absolutely fit. Let me repeat again, this video is not to analyze his cause of death or not even to tarnish the image of any of the Bollywood celebrities. Uh, because if they are doing it, it is okay. I mean, it is not illegal. Consumption of these steroids is not illegal. It is their body, they can do it. But maybe I feel with, when they have so much influence on the youth, they should take up the moral responsibility and occasionally speak about it. Because uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that if they speak about it, that is the end of their career. Because in Hollywood, we had people in the past like Arnold Schwarzenegger or uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone who openly spoke about consumption of steroids. I don't think their reputation fell even by an inch. So maybe somebody should come forward and guide the youth. Well, if you found that this piece of information was useful, make sure it reaches more and more people uh, by sharing it and also consider giving a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.